On November 24th, 2019, then uh, former Vice President uh, Biden tweeted, it's time we remember who we are as Americans. We leave nobody behind and we give hate no safe harbor. Well, yesterday, President Biden left hundreds of Americans behind and gave safe harbor to the hate of a fundamentalist terrorist Taliban regime. And I think what makes this more tragic with the death of 13 Marines, a day that will live in infamy for every Marine along with Beirut and uh, the Maiguez crisis, is that it didn't have to be this way. Just last week, we had an opportunity to come together as Democrats and Republicans and pass a bill that would have prevented the administration from withdrawing troops on the arbitrary August 31st surrender date until we had gotten all of our Americans out. And behind closed doors, this is exactly what many Democrats said they wanted. They pushed back on the administration. They begged and pleaded the president to abandon the Taliban's surrender day. But when the moment of truth came on the House floor, they all voted against it so as not to jeopardize the passage of Bernie Sanders' budget. Today, we had another chance to come together as Democrats and Republicans. Introduced, we introduced, tried to introduce new legislation today to do whatever is necessary to save our citizens that President Biden left behind in Afghanistan, to make sure that we are not paying ransom to terrorists, to make sure that Congress has a full account of the billions of dollars worth of equipment that we left behind, and to make sure that we are not, as the administration is hinting right now, going to recognize the government, the Taliban government, going forward. And yet, when I asked unanimous consent to do that on the floor a few minutes ago, I was gaveled down. It is time for Congress to step up. Because of the administration bungling this withdrawal, it, it's too late to save face. We look weak, our allies are questioning our commitment, our enemies are seeking to test us, it's too late to save face, but we can still save lives. We can still get Americans out of the country, and we have to do that. We have a moral obligation as Americans to do that. This isn't a new cycle to be managed. It's not something, a narrative that can be spun because Ron Klain is retweeting progressive journalists and creating an echo chamber. This is a matter of life and death. We don't leave our people behind.